I'm here to talk about absolute relative references. In Excel, when we did this formula in the payroll here, it says C2 times D2. We're multiplying this. We go down here. It goes row by row by row. We are now going to do the federal withholding tax. The federal withholding tax is based on the 28% here times the $281 here. E2 times B10. The B10 is a constant. We're going to begin the formula equal this cell, multiply, we go into this cell here. It will go down E2, E3, E4. We don't want it to become B10, B11, B12 because we will get incorrect data. We want to lock it in. It should read dollar $B, dollar $10. We press the F4 key, function 4 key, dollar sign, checkbox, drag down. We're going to do the next formula. We want to do the same thing, absolute in the 4%, which is B11. It is equal E2 times the 4%, B11, F4. We could also hit the Enter key. When we put our mouse inside this little dot here, we can also double-click. Brings it down instantly to the bottom of the range. Social Security tax, again, absolute references because we want to lock in cell B12 equal gross pay asterisk in here I'm not going to hit the F4 key this time look what happens when we bring it down we're getting a bunch of zeros here what is it doing it's saying B13 there's nothing in there multiplying zero times a number gives you that B14 we need to fix this to fix this we go up into this cell we click after the cell that should have the absolute reference. Highlights everything here. We can press the F4 key now. It's that. Check. Bring it down. It's now correct. And then the net pay, this is an easy one. It's always relative, so it's equal this. Minus this. Minus this. Minus this. And then we can copy and paste. Control C to copy, highlight the cells here, press the enter key, everything is in there. And then if we want to do the subtotals across the bottom of what everybody earned, I can just click and highlight this. Uh, this is the easy way. I click on the sigma key. I could make it bold. And then you see these railroad tracks here, the pound signs, it's too narrow. We make it wider. We have it done.